Hey everyone, welcome to Code Harmony. Today we are going to solve little problem number two one seven six. Count number of divisible pairs in an array. This problem is based on arrays. Also, it is marked as easy. It's a good beginner friendly problem, but we'll also try to optimize it further. Let's have a look on the problem statement. We are given zero index integer array nums of length n. So integer array is given to us. Along with that, another integer k is also given. And we have to return the number of pairs i j such that i is less than j and both are valid and nums of i is equal to nums of j value at index i should be equal to value at index j and multiplication of these two indices i into j is divisible by k so these conditions should be satisfied and we just have to return the number of pairs we can form. So we are definitely going to start with the brute force and see if we can further optimize it or not. So brute force is something whatever is given in the problem statement. Also, if we have a look on the constraints, the length of this array is going till hundred, and the values are also going till hundred. So this is not a big number. It means we can think of the nested loops. So nums array is given to us. Value of k is also given to us, and we have to figure out the number of pairs such that. Two valid index we have to pick such that i less than j, and if the if the value at both the indices are same, and multiplication of these two indices is divisible by k, it means it's a valid pair and it is going to contribute one to my answer. In the end, just return the number of pairs we have captured. So how do I solve this? If we just try to have a look, why not we just check every single pair, check every single pair and just validate these two condition if i am checking every single pair and these two conditions are validated then i'm going to uh, get my answer get my valid pair so for that what i can do i can do with uh, the pointers first of all i have to pick i pointer i let's say i am point picking pointer i i will be iterating over this array after that for every i i need to pick pointer j and j should be definitely starting with i plus 1 and j is also going for all the rest of the elements and then it will check the condition firstly both the values are same second multiplication of these two indices let's say firstly index is 0 j is i is 0 j is 1 so 0 into 1 it divisible by 2 or not so this condition i need to check so if i just write a pseudo code for this it will be something like this for i is going to start from 0 and i is going till n minus 1 and what about j j is definitely going to start from i plus 1 and j is going till n minus 1 now we have all the pairs after these two nest this nested loops we have all the pairs and here i will be checking my condition if value at i is equal to value at j so this is my first condition if this condition is true, I will check one more condition that i multiplication j modulus k is equal to equal to zero. In short, that multiplication of i and j is divisible by k or not. Hmm? So k is completely dividing this this value or not. This is my second condition. i into j divisible by k and both values should be same. See, after this nested loop, we were having all the pairs and these two conditions are going to filter all the pairs. And if any pair has come this far, in that case, I'm going to append my answer. What this answer be initialized with? It should be initialized with zero and every valid case, I'm going to increment it using two nested loops. These conditions, these conditions are not going to take any time, but these four loop is going to take time, which is order of n. And the value of n is going till 100. So it is not going to hamper our time complexity we will be, be able to submit the this problem comfortably so this is order of n square solution order of n square time solution and what space did we take we did not take any extra space in this approach right so uh, this is our brute force and how we can optimize it further say in the brute force how many comparisons we are doing let's say we were having 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 this array is of si size 7 it is a size of 7 and from this 7 we are picking two elements 
how many comparisons we are making 7 into 6 into 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial 7 minus 2 which is 5 factorial around 21 operations we are making but how we how do we optimize it let me just pick the array in this case i have to check two elements only if the value is same if the value is same why not i just capture all the indices of the valued pair 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 if i just try to maintain a hash table where every type of element let's say 3 i'm going to capture its all all of its indices let's say 3 is going to capture 0 1 is at index 1 2 is at index 2 2 is at index 3 2 is at index 4 1 is at index 5 3 is at index 6 if i just maintain this hash table and then i try to compare these values only i am 100 percent sure that i don't have to check for this condition this both the values are same so this condition is already taken care hmm? and this preparation of this hash table is already going to take order of n time after that i will just do the iteration if i do the iteration in this case 0 and 6 0 and 6 i are going to form one pair 2 c 2 1 and 5 2 c 2 3 c 2 that is definitely be less than 21 2 c 2 is only 1 2 c 2 is only 1 and 3 c 2 is 3 5 comparisons so in short if we are maintaining the hash table where i am going to capture all the indices where that current element is appearing i will be able to get the answer in lesser operation we don't have to compare so many times or maybe all the pairs i don't have to check in this case this is it is it an optimized version in this case it is looking like an optimized version but let's say i have a example one two two three 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 in this case 3 and 3 6 6 c 2 i need to do if i just maintain a hash table 1 is 1 2 is 2 3 is 3 is coming 3 times 3 is coming 3 times and uh, instead of these i am going to capture the indices at index 0 at index 1 comma 2 and 3 comma 4 comma 4 comma 5 i can't get any pair i can get one pair i can get three pair so this is better i'm definitely getting better time with this with this approach that uh, if i just do the calculation of the hash table first but what if uh, all the elements are same one 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 in this case four c two but if i just maintain a hash table zero uh, in the element one is appearing at index zero index one index two index three so this is the hash table and this hash table is going to give me the same time which I am taking in the order of n square approach brute force approach. So here even if this optimized version using hash table is giving me better time I can't say that it is a better time complexity because in the worst case it is going to be n square. So this is the same. But yeah, we can tell in the interview interview that, okay, this is somehow we are reducing the number of comparisons. We don't have to blindly check over all the, all the valid values of i and j. So here, um, this was the optimization and this was the brute force. Now let's have a look on the code. For the brute force, code is completely the same. And then let's write the code for both the approaches. First of all, let's write the brute force here. Nums is of size n and uh, in this case we decided that to go with the nested loops i equal to zero i less than n i plus plus and there is another it nested loop with starting with j equal to i plus one j less than n j plus plus i will check the condition if nums of i is equal to equal to nums of j and i in, into j modulus k is equal to equal to 0 in this case increment the answer we have to take an answer variable int answer equal to 0 and now all the answers are captured just return the answer 
see if it is working fine or not on the sample test cases it is working fine if i just submit it it might submit because the constraints are very less i hope this basic approach is with, uh, clear to you and the second one we decided to go with a hash table based approach let's try to implement that as well here uh, first of all i have taken a map of integer and list of integer firstly i will be iterating over this given array i equal to 0 i less than num stored length i plus plus why for loop because i would be requiring the index here i have to uh, put it in the map map dot uh, compute if absent compute if absent it means that uh, it is going to give me the value of the particular element if that is not there it is going to compute something so here the just get the value of nums of i if the nums of i value is not there just uh, apply this lambda new array list this new array list is going to be uh, the value for this uh, key which is nums of i and in this value i'm going to add the index now my integer array is prepared here what i have to do is first of all let's see uh, let's capture the answer variable answer is equal to zero after all the processing i'm going to return this answer here uh, i need to iterate over all the all the uh, in uh, like indexes list for every particular value and for that uh, i will be having a list of integer indices and these indices are uh, map dot values so now i have the indices map so let's say in this case in any particular case for 3 i am going to have 0 comma 6 0 comma 6 in the list in this list and i have to iterate over this list to iterate over this list first of all let's capture the size indices dot size in this case and for for this i need to run two loops i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus for uh, j is equal to i plus 1 j less than n j plus plus now i have uh, two i have picked a valid pair of indices 0 and 6 right 0 and 6 and that 0 and 6 is present at this index i and j so to get that 0 and 6 i need to get the value at this uh, i and j so let's say i1 idx1 is um, um, indices dot get i okay this is something i have to do index 2 is equal to indices dot get j now two indices i am having i just have to check that condition idx1 into idx2 take a modulus with k if i am getting zero then i need to increment my answer so this is something i have to do so take to take in a map and then prepare the map you can you can write it very simply as well if the uh, if the value is not there just add a value of empty list and then add i to the that list computative absent nums of i uh, this lambda is also fine okay then capturing answer indices indices list i have to iterate and in that indices list it will be something like this uh, the list is having uh, 0 at index 0 and 6 at index 1 so actually to get the value of the index i need to get the values from this indices list okay now let's run over sample test cases on the sample test cases it is working fine uh, let's try submitting this one it also got successfully submitted but uh, the conditions constraints are very less in number like till 100 the value of n is going till 100 in this case so uh, we might not see any enhancement and improvement by this code so brute force definitely going to work working fine even in this case the worst time complexity is going to be n scale but uh, here we are having some overhead of computing this uh, indices map 
in advance okay i hope you understood both the approaches uh, i hope you have understood both the approaches and it's a good problem to get started with arrays and uh, to see how we can save a bit of time but uh, but we also need to showcase that okay what is the exact time complexity in the worst case for both the approaches which is same in both the cases okay thank you guys bye bye in case you want to have any discussion you can uh, comment down below and do let me know if you have any doubt thank you